Hey there, this is Vanessa Deeper Lane. Thank you for coming to my channel. Today I am going to share three tips for you. If you do this, you will have your best year ever, not only in your business, but in your life. I guarantee it. But you have to follow these three tips. And they're not like everything else that you see. These are going to help you in your business and your personal life and everything. It's going to make you be the best person that you can. I'm going to give you the best one first. So if you like this one, or if you don't, you can turn it off, but I'm not going to make you wait till the end. Number one, invest in yourself. And I don't mean go out and buy a course or go hire a coach or um, read some professional development books or listen to podcasts. You're probably already doing all of that. I'm, I want to ask you a question. How are you feeling right now? How does Joe feel right now? Every day you get up and you spend hours on your computer, you're trying to build your business, you quit, you want to quit your nine to five so then you can do a 24 to seven, right? That's why you'd never see my videos say that because a lot of people think they quit their nine to five and then it's going to be a piece of cake from there and it's not. It's just a different kind of work. It's enjoyable because you get to pick your work. You get to decide what that income level is going to be. That's the difference. But how are you feeling? How do you feel physically, mentally, emotionally? Are you drained? Are you just sitting here day after day going through the same routine and hoping, you know, that whatever you're doing is going to make it work faster? How do, how do you change that? I suggest pay attention to what you're eating. Get into an exercise routine. And I'm not going to suggest anything. I've got my own. Um, but you're going to find that when you start taking care of yourself, you're going to feel like a million bucks. You're going to have energy and you're going to attack each day and just feel like a million bucks. I, I don't know how else to explain it, but you have to take the time and the discipline to take care of yourself. If you don't like to exercise at home, then go join the gym. You can go join the YMCA and go swimming. You can go ride a bike. You can go find friends to walk with, but get up and start moving and start taking care of yourself because you're only going to find that you're going to be worn out, you're going to be exhausted, and you're not going to be very much fun to be around. It's going to help your mood change everything. You're just going to see your entire life change. I promise you, but you have to take the time to take care of yourself. So when I mean invest in yourself, that's what I mean. Take care of numero uno, which is you, because when you take care of you, sorry about that popping up down there. When you take care of you, then you'll be, there'll be more of you to take care of everyone else. And that kind of leads me into number two. Don't, please don't sacrifice your family just so you can make more money. Yeah, maybe you're on this goal that within two years you'll be making $20,000 a month, but in the process, you're sacrificing your family. You're not going to those ball games. You're not helping your spouse. And you're just constantly in front of your computer, but all for the better good of everybody so you can have lots of money. And that is a great goal, but pay attention at what price because you cannot get that time back. You cannot get those relationships back to where they need to be if you sacrifice them just so you can have a few extra dollars faster, okay? If, if you've got to spread it out into a longer plan where it takes more time, so be it. Don't give up those blessings that you have right now so that you can bless them more later. They're okay with where you're at, I promise you. Your family wants you more than they want that money. They'll enjoy the money, don't get me wrong, but they don't wanna lose you in the process. So think about, take another look at what you're doing and make sure you take time for the people that you love. Maybe you're sitting at home and you don't have children at home anymore. Maybe your spouse is at work all day. Then pay attention to your parents, are, are they getting elderly? Do they Could they use more of your time? Or maybe you have a friend in need. I just don't want you to miss out on life today so that it can be better later, okay? Just for some, some money, because it's not worth it. I promise you it's not. And then let's go into number three. This one I still have to work on. The first two I've got down pretty well, but this one I really have to keep evaluating myself is when you're on building your business, are you being busy? Or are you being productive? And I know, especially when you first start your business in one line, you're spending a lot of time on social media because that's what it's all about. And I'm not telling you that it's not, but are you being intentional? Are you being focused? Are you being productive? If you're spending a lot of time making funnels and those funnels are not working and doing what they're supposed to be doing, then something's wrong. You've got to go in and tweak 
and make sure what you're doing is productive, okay? If you're spending all day posting on Facebook because that's what you were taught to do and you and it's not being productive, then don't do it. Um, I'm not going to get into what is productive, what is busy. You have to ask yourself, what goals are you trying to make and are they bringing in a return on your investment of time and money, all right? Your ROI. So pay attention to that as well. And I think we could always go back and visit that all the time is, am I being busy or am I being productive? And stay focused on it. If you're doing a project that ultimately is going to be bringing you money in, then stay focused on it. And it's okay if it takes you two weeks to make that course instead of a week, okay? Don't don't just give up your life just to beat that deadline. It's not, it's just not worth it. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to throw in one more little bonus that I know myself, I was so engrossed reading all these, listening to these podcasts and doing this training and, and applying everything that I forgot about how much I love to read. So I make sure that I'm always reading a book for fun, something that is irrelevant, has nothing to do with my business, and that's my relaxation. And that feeds my soul. So find something that you enjoy doing and do it. Don't give everything up just for the sake of making money because it's not worth it, all right? So hopefully my video was a little bit different than some of the others that you've been watching. I know some people are trying to give you all these tips to make lots of money. I want you to be healthy and I want you to enjoy life as you're pursuing your dream. It, we're not meant to give ourselves up just for a few dollars, okay? So be healthy. 2020 is be healthy, be your best, and take that time for your family and you will have the best year ever. All right, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will give you a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will see you on the next video and thank you for watching today.